All right, so in my garden this year so far. The peppers uh, have been losing their indoor leaves. They're looking kind of puny, but uh, they got all new, new growth coming on. So um, yeah, I didn't harden them off properly, but they're doing okay now. This is a uh, bishop's hat or an orchid pepper that was started here well last season I think that's a fireweed which is a wildflower here but it's it's a weed it's like everywhere this is the mother fatale coming in pretty good that's African dream root and some herbs you know this was a uh, Jonah Viper it's finally started coming back in it took it took it the hardest these are capsicum pubescens they're orange monsanos it's actually two of them in there I'm, I'm just curious how they'll do they're really healthy but this is their first season I started these here it's actually raining a little bit right now. It's good, but it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't soak in. Alaska is really arid. These are cucumbers. Some fox farm. Good stuff. All right, I'm putting in kale right now. So, that's going over there. Lots of kale. It's actually dinosaur kale, and it's gonna get humongous if I don't like harvest it regularly like three, four feet, and I do landscaping work, and they installed it as decorative plants at the hospital here. Um, I've actually been doing that all week, and, you know, that's, uh, it's kale. It's really sweet, actually. Um, some collards, those are squash, scallop squash. They won't get very big. Um, I actually have stuff crammed in here. Got some rows of beans in there. They're starting to pop. Um, stuff that grows fast. And stuff that uh, I can water a lot. Uh, irrigate it. Pacific Northwest needs a lot of water. It's very dry. Windy. Some tomatoes. Supposedly they don't do well here. I'm going to try them. So. Some herbs. And I don't have my moose fence up yet. So, I'm going to have to cover these up, probably with that wheelbarrow overnight, uh, until I put, put up my moose fence tomorrow. And I can put in a lot of my other seedlings, like uh, cabbages, which will get humongous, and cauliflower. They're probably going to go down on the ground in here. I'm going to weed eat in here and... Um, probably put down some bark it's like the dandelions here are insane um they're everywhere they're basically a wildflower here everywhere but dandelions are edible so it's food source anyways that's what's going on and I'm expecting to have a lot of greens and hopefully a lot of peppers too. So, thanks for watching.